Alright, today I'm going to be telling you guys why I don't really support Nintendo's virtual console service anymore, and I mainly use emulators to play classic games. So, I mean, just think about it. The Wii U and 3DS's selection of virtual console games aren't as broad as the Wii's selection of virtual console games. I mean, the Wii... The Wii has um, games, classic games for platforms that the Wii U and 3DS don't have, such as the Nintendo 64, the Sega Genesis, the Sega Master System, um, Tur Turbo Graphics. 16 and even arcade titles and I'm mainly referring to the Wii U by the way I don't expect the 3DS to have any of the, any of the games for those platforms except for the Sega Master System because you know the the Sega Game Gear was pretty much a portable Sega Master System and it, and it had a few of the same games that were on the Sega Master System, but anyways, I mean, I mean, you know, do, don't you understand what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say? And I mean, I'm not implying that Nintendo's Virtual Console service is bad, but I mean, it just, it, it could be better. Second, I mean, where's my cross-platform? I mean, I mean, seriously, like, for example, what if I were to buy Super Mario Bros. 3 on the 3DS eShop, but, of course, I wouldn't be able to play on the Wii U, only the 3DS, or even vi vice versa, what if it were the exact opposite situation, I mean, what if I just wanted to play on both platforms, I mean, Sony offers that that Sony offers that choice to it, its its users. I mean, why can't Nintendo do the same? And I mean, why why? Okay, th this applies to um even you know you know other downloadable titles on Nintendo's eShop platforms, but I mean, why do digital purchases have to be tied to single, single platforms? I mean, like, for example, what if my 3DS was stolen or broken? I mean, seriously, I mean, that, I mean, all of the data and, you know, the, the digital games on there, that can't be recovered. Well, okay. I mean, the data on retail games are... It's stored onto those games, but still, I mean, it's, I, I'd still like to recover my purchases. I mean, that, that's just not fair. And, I mean, I mean, this is a bit unfair to Nintendo because, of course, they need to make money. But, I mean, emulators are free. And, I mean, I mean, of course, I mean, I, I don't know, I mean, that, that's, that's one of the main reasons why I switched over to emulators to play classic games. I mean, I'll still support Nintendo by, you know, purchasing new titles from them, but I mean, if I want to play you know, NES games, SNES games, GBA games, and, you know, I then I'll just use emulators. Unless I want to just get the original platform. But anyways, I mean, you know, the, that pretty much sums up all the reasons why I don't really support Nintendo's virtual console service anymore, and... I mainly just use emulators to play retro games now, and, I mean, you know, I guess people are right, Nintendo has been going downhill a bit, and not only financially, 
because I mean, I'm I'm sure we can all stand to agree that most of Nintendo's memorable games came from previous generations, as in previous to generation eight of gaming. But I mean, I shall remain loyal to Nintendo, and I still appreciate their current efforts. And I'm 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 really hyped for Mario Kart 8. I'm really hyped for Mario Kart 8. And I mean, I'm content with the Wii U. I'm content with the 3DS. But I'm sure we can all stand to agree that Nintendo should step up their game. I mean, the same to apl uh, the same applies to pretty much um, all of the the big name companies out out there. Such as, you know, Capcom. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can see how they're doing right now. And, I mean, Microsoft and Sony with the Xbox One and PS4. I mean, I'd like to see better games on those platforms. And, you know, especially the PlayStation Vita, I mean. But anyways, yeah, I think that's just about all. Thanks for watching, guys.